What's up, everybody? Welcome to Quick Hits presented by Howlerhead. I'm Laura Sanko, and I have a feeling I don't actually need to introduce our guest, but I will do it anyway just for fun. NFL superstar, Cleveland Browns defensive end, Miles Garrett. Miles, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Glad to be here. Good, good. Are you are you looking forward to watching some fights tonight? Absolutely. Can't wait to see my boy Steve Bay. Listen, I was I was gonna try to talk a little football with you off the top here, maybe talk about the Browns signing John Johnson or something along those lines, but all I see when I go to your social media is basketball. What's up with that? Well, I mean, my two loves outside of football are, are basketball and like combat sports like boxing and MMA. So that's what I do with my, my off time. Are you are you trying to send a message? Because there's some subtle there's some subtle messages being sent in those captions, or are you, are you just trying to like demonstrate yet again what a superior genetic freak you are? <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm appreciating the uh, the vertical as well. That was that was some good stuff there. What did you end up getting? Sixty three. Uh I got sixty one, but I gotta get, I gotta go back and get sixty four. Oh, you'll get it. You get it. I have no doubt that you were you were close on that last attempt. Real close. Real close. I, so, I mean, um, put it on the wall. I get it. So, <laughs> this guy makes sure I have some support. Exactly. Exactly. So, let's talk some UFC. I am fascinated to know when and how you became a fan of MMA in the UFC. Well, uh, first fight I remember watching. My friends brought me to Corsicana, Texas, and you know, I was at their house, and I watched. Uh, Holly Holm stopped uh, Ronda Rousey, and I remember, remember a couple other fights that night. But that was that was the main one. It was the that was the premier fight, and so from then on, I was kind of kind of hooked. And how like what is your what's your level of fandom? Are you watching every pay per view? Are you just kind of the really big ones? No judgment. There's no wrong answer here. No judgment. I would say the really big ones. Yeah. I mean. I think I've watched like four or five in a row, but uh, mostly the big ones. Now, I, I don't have too many dogs in the race, but you know, I, I mean, I like I like boxing. I like MMA. If I can catch it, if I'm at home and it's on, I'm I'm gonna watch it. Well, four or five in a row. I mean, that's that's a good streak. I feel like we're getting our hooks in yet. We're gonna make a real pretty soon. You're gonna be on Fight Pass every night, perusing those really obscure local shows. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, question for you. Stipe Miocic obviously is the fight tonight. He's taken on Francis Ngannou, but I saw that you guys actually trained together. How did that happen? How'd that come about? I mean, I, I wanted to do a full work, kind of like uh, hand-eye, work on my hand speed, and uh, also working on my, my conditioning. I, mean, I, I love I love boxing. I did, did it when I was uh, younger, so. Know, being able to get in the ring with them, and he's the, the baddest man on the planet right you now. Uh, it's invaluable time and uh, effort that you know, I, I will never be able to take for granted. Yeah, is that something that you want to do more of? I mean, I, do you see yourself like hitting mitts on a regular basis, or just kind of whenever you can? Uh, definitely, I'm back in Cleveland. You know, right now I'm in Texas. I had to get get to some warmer weather. Yeah, I'm back. You know. I go home and I congratulate him for for keeping the belt. I'll be able to work on some notes and I'll get in the ring with him again. Well, there's some good gyms in Texas too. Let me know if I need to hook you up because I can make that happen. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk about this big fight tonight, though. I mean, man, the heavyweight championship. Obviously, we know who you're backing, right? But tell uh, tell me a little bit about this fight. How do you see it going down, especially compared to the first time? I don't know if you saw the first one, but Stipe dominated those later rounds. How do you see this one going down? Uh, I mean, it just—it just seems like Francis doesn't have that, that kind of experience later in the fight and that technique to, to carry him on through those those championship rounds, round four and five, where when you're gassed, you have to be able to rely on you know your your fundamentals. And I don't think he he has that in his bag just like Stipe does, because Stipe is able to do a bit of everything. His striking is very crisp, and you know, as you see, Francis he has freakish strength, but. Uh, he, just, you know, he swings for the fences. So as long as you're able to hang in there, you have a, uh, a great chin and you can you can outstrike him and you can you know, keep him off you. Uh, I feel like he, he'll be able to he'll be able to beat him, especially in the later rounds, because you know, he'll start to gas a little bit early because he's a he's a bigger guy. Do you see 
a finish? Do you see this fight going long? What do you what do you think in terms of how Stipe is going to get it done? I think Stipe stops him in four. Oh, that's a very specific prediction. I like that. I like that very much. One last prediction I need from you. I know that uh, your teammate, David Njoku, is also a major UFC fan. I don't know if he's trained any, but I just, in my mind, I think, okay, what if Miles and David fought? How would that go down? Who would win that fight? That's a, that's a stop it round. I'll give him, I ain't gonna put him, put him out in round one. I like to you know, <laughs> play, my guy, play, play with your food. <laughs> round two, round three, then when we start to start really let the, the fireworks go. And so, you know, I'm more of a a haggler type. That was that was really my guy. And I love Ali, but you know, I think I fight more like Haggler. Yeah. And so, as long as as long as we're not going to the ground too much, which is uh not really where I'm accustomed to. I don't think he's accustomed either. I think if we stand up, it'll it's you know two or three rounds. I love my guy, but you know, that's just, <laughs> that's just what it is. Listen, this seems to be the age of the super fight. I say we make this one happen. I am looking to book this fight. This would be absolutely incredible, Miles. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking a minute. Everybody got something like some beef with me. Zadarius wants to play basketball one on one with me. <laughs> they uh, just want to test themselves. They want to test themselves against the best. The best has never done it, but yeah. The best has never done it. But I, I, I love that. that. That's a lot of respect. Like, I'm not that on that. Is- level but you know they see it and they they can they can they can pay a little respect to it exactly exactly miles thank you so much for taking a second i appreciate you uh, offering your insights go enjoy these fights and guys stay locked in right here these early prelims kick off at 7 30 eastern on espn plus we'll see you there